Hey guys, um, I've done roof cleaning for a long time. I was in the pressure cleaning business for quite a while. And um, I just want to give you guys a tip, particularly you pressure cleaners who do uh, roof cleaning. And you need to be aware, like like Hurricane Irma went through, maybe some tiles got damaged or whatever. You really need to, uh, you know, like make sure that your insurance isn't buying people new roofs because they have you pressure clean them and then you know they say there's a leak and, and they might even legitimately think it's you you know maybe it came because of Hurricane Irma and then they have you do the roof or something and then now they blame you so <clears throat> what you might want to consider doing is linking up with a quality and I'm saying quality roofer who really knows their stuff and having them do like a roof inspection ahead of you and and then you know they may be able to document what's going on like if there's anything wrong with the roof or you know or something and that might you know before you actually get to it that might help protect you and it can be good for the roofer because if there is some broken tiles or something like the roofer is like right there to you know to to talk to them and you know maybe get a job so and you know if, if that wasn't a good enough incentive maybe you could like pay the roofer but just be really cautious out there right now that uh, you guys don't get stuck paying for roofs so I have had a roofer go before me in the past and one time there may have been someone trying to scam me and I guess maybe it's something wrong with the roof and um, yeah I had a, a roofer and person did not want the roofer I guess See, like he, he was like I guess like totally trying to scam me so anyways just be careful out there guys so you don't get scammed and uh, if you guys like the tip please give the video a thumbs up like comment subscribe share all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching have a good day and God bless you